Well, hey, y'all. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Again, I'm going to say this again. I'm so glad to be back. Lord, how mercy. I went almost a month without internet. So bad. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it's good to get off the internet a little bit, but... Woo. All right, guys. First of all, I want to say um, I am still doing my update video about what went on and everything, but I wanted to get this one out, out first because it was kind of feels important for me to get out. Really. And I, I do apologize for the background noise. Um, the boys is on their Xbox over in the next room and they get kind of loud. I don't know why they got to yell at a game when my cats are, well, they were trying to ruin my life. But anyways, if you're new here, hi, I'm Mandy. I do a lot of makeup related videos. Now, sometimes I'll go out try and do something else in my recipe, but I promise not to disappoint you. All of the time. Now let's read the first comment from my last video. Which were the Finny products from the BoxyCharm March Premium Boxy. Congratulations, Betty Boop Wolf. Betty says, I miss your face, Mandy. Sending all good vibes. You got this, girl. Betty, I missed you so much, honey. You are one of those comments that always stand out to me. And I really appreciate you having your bell on. Thank you so much, honey. And I love you, girl. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, I know. I know. I'm about to receive more hate than I've ever seen, and I know people's going to turn against me for this video, but guys, it is time for me to put my foot down. I'm tired of it. I've had enough, okay? Now, I am not one of Jacqueline Hill's fans. Sure, I like the girl. She could do makeup, and I used to be an ultra, ultra fan of hers. I used to watch her. I used to hang on to every single word that she ever said. She's one of the many beauty YouTubers that I learned how to do my makeup from. But then, as time went on, you know, I, I don't know if she just kind of burned out on me or what, but I, I quit watching her videos. Now, every once in a while, I'll still click on a, videos, a, a video of hers here and there or whatever. So, I do want to start off with saying, I'm not one of her, uh, did she call them heelsters, I guess? For those of you who weren't here, my internet got turned off because I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm poor as shit. So, my internet got turned off. Um. It was off almost a month, so I did not watch Zip Zero Zilch, not one YouTube video since then. So I had a lot of time to myself. I watched DVDs, and, and just basically, you know, that was time left with my thoughts and feelings, which is kind of scary. But anyways, when I did get back online, I started going through YouTube videos, started catching up, watching everybody that I liked and everything. There were so many videos about Jacqueline Hill, I was like, are we really doing this again? Are we really doing this? Now look guys, I understand her whole thing with that lipstick thing. Yeah, that was fucking dirty as hell. Excuse my French. Okay, she done people dirty on that. I do understand that. But this hate for Jacqueline that everybody has got, this has been happening long before that lipstick launch. And y'all know that. So, uh, she had talked beauty here, so let's, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me explain to y'all what is running through my head. Let's put ourselves in Jacqueline's shoes, okay? Which might I add are probably uh, really expensive there, uh, probably those red bottom heels. We do that for just, you know, for the moment of this video. Again, I understand what she, she's done wrong. She pushes the hell out of morphine. Every time she makes a video, it's to sell something. We all know that. Her launches are, well, let's just say they're they're just devastating. They, 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 don't, they don't take off. Again, I'm sorry about that background. The girl is not good in business. She's not business smart. Let's just go ahead and admit it. Hey, Aki, of course you're here. You know, he's a little clout chasing. He's my clout chasing kitty. So, of course, you know, he pops up in every video. He just don't realize it. Can't get famous on this one, but don't tell him. He don't know that. But anyways, we already know. You know, she's a damn mess. I mean, it's just simple as that. But again, for the next few minutes of this video, guys, put yourselves in her shoes. How would you feel if you got onto YouTube and every other video was about you and they were bad? Not good videos. Bad. Nothing but talking trash about you. Now, the girl can hardly say anything, do a video, do anything without somebody bringing something up. Everybody is starting to nitpick, not really starting to, it's been going on for a while. And you know what? Let me go ahead and show you these videos right here. Um, for example, you know, 
There you go. There's proof. I'm one of them. I've got videos on her too. But we are starting to nitpick every single little thing that she does. If she uses the word if instead of when, well, there's something to it. That's what we're saying, you know. A lot of people say she's really manipulative. You know, she'll do her videos and she's just, all she's doing is manipulating everybody. Y'all, do y'all honestly think she is a manipulative, just... Do y'all really think? Really think that she is an evil marketing genius. Y'all, I, I really don't, I, I don't think she's a, that quite, quite there to be, you know, the genius part. So, uh, I don't know why we keep saying that. And now again, I know it was dirty, her lipstick launch and what she done. I know that was dirty, but this has been going on long before that. That's why I'm doing this video. Now, I could understand if it happened after, if all this hate and stuff toward her and nitpicking every little thing that she done started happening after her lipstick launch. But it didn't, y'all. It's been going on forever, and I'm just sick seeing it. Let's put ourselves in her mindset before I even get started explaining anything. Now, I kind of felt, I kind of related with Jacqueline Hill. Believe it or not, you know. Well, the only difference is I'm, like, poor. Like, under the poverty line poor. And she's a, uh, well, I don't know. Is she a multimillionaire? Probably. I'm just going to say very rich, okay? But then again, y'all, on each end of the spectrum, I felt like we was relating. I know we're on two different levels here, but I get hate comments, you know, not on the level that she does. Oh my God, I can't imagine. We always say that she's, she only films when she needs to sell something. But honestly, really, would y'all want to film if just about every comment under your video is negative? And then we started picking on her weight. Jesus Christ, I can't even believe I'm saying that. No, I wasn't one of them. But I had seen a lot of remarks on her, her weight gain. and that, That's one thing I do not believe in. You do not pick on somebody's <laughs> body type. That ain't none of our business. Like, who in the hell gives a damn? You know, that pisses me off. I couldn't stand seeing somebody say something about her weight. Anybody's for that matter. But imagine how many hate comments she is looking at. That would give anybody an anxiety and make them not want to film. Even if she wasn't looking at the comments or if she wasn't reading the comments, everybody else is going to tell her about it. Hell, she's got millions and millions of fans that's going to tweet her or going to message her and say, Oh my God, do you see what says they're saying about you? So she don't even have to read comments because it's going to get brought up anyways. And that ain't nothing but a bunch of negativity nobody wants to deal with. I mean, you've got videos where they are trying to break down Jaclyn Hill's lies. I mean, honestly. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the lipsticks, okay? First of all, she never did a recall on them. Now, I don't agree there. She should have damn done a recall on anything. She did give everybody's money back. Great, good. That was that was good. She still should have recalled them. But now, when she was trying to explain to everybody, trying to cover up the stuff about it, you know, she didn't do a good job there either. But y'all, I really honestly don't think that she's got a lot of business smarts. I do believe she is, is smart about business, but I think she went about that all wrong. I don't think she truly understood what she was trying to explain. But now let's take this for an example, right? Okay, like Jacqueline and her lipsticks. All right, okay, your child's principal calls you and says, uh, Can you come in here? I need to talk to you about your, about your kid. Okay, you go in there and your principal's like, All right, you know what? This kid is awful. No, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. He doesn't work. He's just awful. I don't like the kid. All right, what are you going to do? Okay, well, first of all, that principal better hope he's got something covering his face because that's the first thing I'm going for if you say you don't like my kid, you know. That's just me. Second thing, I'm going to start throwing excuses out. I'm going to be like, well, he's like that because he ain't got no sleep. Or he's he's just like that because I didn't let him go outside and play yesterday. Or, you know, you're just going to start throwing out excuses, all right? Now, he, let's look at it this way. Like, those lipsticks were one of Jacqueline's kids, you know? And we're the principal, and we was like, hey, we don't like this shit. You know what I mean? And that's all that was running through her head was, well, what excuse can I make for my kid, you know? Well, that might be a bad example, but, um. Because, you know, that, that shit had metal and everything else in it. But what I'm trying to say is she should have done that better. She should have done better research about how to apologize and how to explain to people that uh, you didn't know that. 
And I honestly do believe that she didn't know that stuff was in there. I believe the lipstick she was holding in that video and the one she tested out is what the lab has actually handed her to try out. And you know they're going to give her the best. You know what I mean? They're not going to give her one of her hairy lipsticks. They ain't going to do that. Do you honestly think that she would have let went ahead and released those knowing there's mud on glass and, and hair and everything else in those lipsticks? Knowing people's going to review them, know somebody's going to call her out because they call her out on every damn thing that she does. Know that she's going to lose money. She's got to give all of her money back. I honestly believe there's something to that. That lab has handed her the best of the best of the best of the lipsticks. And guys, I know she pushes Morphe like, like it. There ain't no tomorrow. Either. You know, she does. But, you know, that, that brand has been with her for I don't know how many years. They gave her her start and everything. And I don't, I don't want to use the word obligated. But, um, you know how you got, a, like, a close friend or whatever, and you always want to speak good about them. And so, I'm not going to use that word, but um, they just formed a close relationship, you know. That's where she got her start, so. So, of course, she pushes Morphe all the time, y'all. That's, that's her friend. If you know Tawny Westbrook, hell, every video that she's got out now, she's pushing her brand. You know, she's not even pushing anybody else's. She's pushing her own damn brand. And she slips it into every single video that she's been putting out. Nobody says nothing to Toddy. Nobody says nothing to anybody else about pushing product. And that's what all the top YouTubers are doing. They're there to make money, y'all. So they're going to push product. And I know she does it in every video, but hell, she only does three or four videos a year, guys. I mean, come on. Now, you could Google Jacqueline Hill's name. Here's what I found. All right, the first thing was Jacqueline Hill tutorial. Second thing, Jacqueline Hill palette. Third thing, Jacqueline Hill Volume 2. Fourth thing, Jacqueline Hill Divorce, which ain't none in nobody's damn business. The next one, Jacqueline Hill Weight Gain. Now, that's on Google, guys. So, imagine how many people are bringing this to her. You know, calling her fat, telling her she's gained weight and shit. Man, I want to punch them in the damn face. And if you're one of them that has done that, you can get the hell off my video right now. Because I swear to God, because that pisses me off bigger than life itself, y'all. Just because I'm doing this video, I'm not going to be Jacqueline Hill's top fan or number one fan or anything like that. I'm still going to think, just like I always does. And when she does something wrong, I'm going to say something about it. I'm going to speak my piece. But when I think enough is enough and somebody has been pushed to the damn limits, pushed in a corner, I'm also going to say enough is enough. And I think we have nitpicked her to death. Yeah, call her out if she does something extremely wrong. Like the lipsticks. That's fine. Let's not nitpick every little thing that she does. But damn, did you see Jacqueline Hill's video today? Wearing yellow nail polish. You know what? That was like a big F you to everybody. That, I mean, that's really what it's coming to. That's really what we're doing. Instead, put yourself in her shoes. And know when you when you turn your camera on, that you're going to get so much hate under that video. And you're going to have people talking about your weight. And you're going to have people calling you a liar and you're going to have people just calling you every name under the sun and nitpicking everything that you say you can't you're just scared to death to say anything because you don't you're not you don't never do anything right instead let's look at everything good that she's done i mean she does give out a lot have you seen her christmas giveaways extreme extreme i mean she does give money to charity and i know this for a fact because I've seen the receipts, because everybody has asked her to give the receipts, which is horrible. You didn't give to charity. I want to see the receipt for her. She's helped out some of her fans. I've seen videos. I mean, I used to love Jacqueline. And I know her personality's changed. But, y'all, money changes everybody. It's not just her, it's everybody. There is no other YouTuber on this platform that gets as much criticism as Jacqueline Hill does. I'll guarantee you that. We're not nitpicking nobody else. We're just doing it to Jacqueline. So you know what that's telling me? That we, we are the bullies. All right. What would you tell somebody if they had a negative um, spouse or a friend or hell, even a family member? If they had a negative family member always talking down to them, telling them they ain't worth nothing, talking about their weight, just basically telling them that they're nothing. What would we tell those people? We tell them to get that negative person out of their life, would we not? We're those negative people to Jacqueline. We're the ones pushing her. We're the ones telling her she's no good. We're the ones telling her she can't do nothing right. 
We're the ones talking about her weight. We're the ones telling her she's never going to be nothing. Now, Peter Mon said something about Jacqueline the other day. I think it was the other day. Hell, I don't know. He said she ignores her compliments and focuses on the criticism. Well, hell, how many of us do focus on criticism more than we do compliments? Okay? I mean, really, people ought to start, stop reading their comments, you know. But I can take I can take hate on mine. I'm good. I am good. I don't say nothing back to them. You know. Now, every once in a while, there's going to be that comment that says, Hell, you can't even do makeup. What the hell is that? You can't even blend your damn eyeshadow. Really, honestly, I'm going to look at that, and I'm going to be like, Oh, hell, with you, I know I can do my makeup. And I'm going to ignore it, right? But fact is, next time I go to put on that eyeshadow, I'm going to be thinking about that comment. Everybody's got a little bit of that in them. They're just going to pay attention to the criticism, whether they know it or not. Anyways, guys. I just wanted to, you know, make this little point right here, because you know, that's enough. We are bullying the hell out of Jacqueline Hill. We got her pushed into a corner. And then we turn around and wonder why in the hell she won't film us a damn tutorial video. Makes no damn sense at all, does it? And Jacqueline, honey, if you watch this, honey, hold your head up, keep going. Don't let nobody, nobody talk down to you. But you do need to do your damn research, Jacqueline. God damn, girl. Lord, how mercy. Learn how to accept the criticism. Learn how to explain better whenever stuff goes wrong. You know. Hell, like I said, we are the negative th people. We are the negative people in Jacqueline's life. I don't know why we're like this. Where we like to see somebody fail. We want to see somebody fail. We want to see somebody go through misery. I have no idea why we're like that, guys. It's ridiculous. And from now on, I'm going I'm going to be paying attention to my own thoughts. And if I have that little thought on there, yeah, it's going to be funny. Watch her fail. I'm going to click back. And I'm going to say, you know what? She don't deserve to fail. She got there for a reason, y'all. She got to where she's at for a reason. Because people loved her. She was amazing. Y'all remember that? That's how she got to where she is. So let's quit pushing her down, y'all. You know, let's lay off and see what, she, see what the girl does. See how good she does it. I think she's went through enough horrible stuff, you know. Hell, we even thought it was, there was something to it when she had to move to California because her house or something something needed rebuilt. I don't know. Hell, y'all, I don't know. But we even thought there was something to that. And a lot of people don't think that she deserves to be where she's at. But I hate to tell you, she was once loved. She was once amazing. And she still can be. We just got to let her get out of that corner that we got her pushed in. Thanks, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't be leaving too much hate down there. Oh, Lord, how mercy. I dreaded this one. I was just trying to make a point, And I hope you watched the whole video all the way through. I hope you had every, heard everything that I had to say. Now, guys, let's go ahead and read the comment that I picked from the last video. Well, congratulations, Mr. Trax. Mr. Trax says amazing content. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Trax. I also checked yours out and I subscribed to your channel as well. Y'all, he's got a great channel. It's got copyright free music. If you do have a YouTube channel, really neat. I really enjoyed it. And thank you so much. Remember, guys, you got to leave a comment if you want to get a shout out. And, guys, please make sure, double check, make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Because you know how YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. But if you would, double check that, make sure. And if you're not subscribed, why the hell not? I mean, it's 100% free and it's a gift from me to you. And it's rude not to accept a gift, so you gotta take it. Go on down there and hit that button. And then I'm gonna need y'all to rate a video, but you're only gonna have one option. You can only hit the thumbs up, because my thumbs down quit working a long time ago and YouTube won't fix it. Then there's one more little tiny, tiny little thing before you guys go. YouTube. If you would, make sure your notification bell is set to on. That way you don't miss another upload of mine. I also do a lot of spoilers, and you damn sure don't want to miss none of them. That's it. That's all I got for you. And I love y'all so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.